Hey guys, Bridge here. In this video, I want to talk about uh, Framer plugins since uh, it's actually a great uh, news that uh, there's so being uh, new plugins uh, being introduced uh, and uh, we officially have uh, a marketplace. So I want to go through what are the plugins which uh, I find most exciting and that I'm uh, actually seeing integrating within my workflow. Now, some of these plugins are actually similar to the ones that uh, we already covered in the Figma plugins, since there are some uh, similarities in that sense. But overall, uh, my recommendation is for you to go under the Framer Marketplace uh, under the plugin section you can see that we have the templates on the left and then on the right you're going to find all the plugins and simply have a quick look at the basic overview of the plugin scenario that we have at the moment and of course there's going to be much more plugins that are going to come within the months but let's go right into this list so the first one which uh, I'm really, really looking forward to and uh, it's uh, going to be Blocks uh, because uh, Blocks uh, is essentially one of the top of features uh, which I'm looking whenever I'm building a website uh, in um, uh, Framer and uh, I used to love uh, the Relume library in uh, Webflow as well as Flow-based library because it enables you to create uh, um, the structure of the website in a much faster way so that you don't have to manually create uh, each and every component or, or, or every main block of a website uh, which uh, by the way it's a really good exercise for those of you who are starting out uh, but after you created that about us uh, section uh, for the 10th time uh, there's uh, definitely going to be uh, better ways of optimizing and making the workflow more fast and agile, which is the name of the game in uh, 2024. So Blocks uh, is definitely a plugin that I'm going to keep my eye on. They have over 500 components uh, and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Now another one which uh, is, uh, I wouldn't say somewhat similar because uh, it definitely from what I'm seeing uh, these uh, components and uh, sections or styled is uh, Clonify. Now Clonify looks uh, like uh, a really good uh, uh, alternative to blocks uh, in the sense that uh, it, it seems uh, more uh, leaning towards the styled uh, components and sections. They also have a wireframe uh, section over here which uh, I'm really looking forward to. So I'm definitely going to check out both uh, of these uh, plugins and uh, see which one makes more sense in uh, my workflow. Usually what I like to do is to have more of wireframes uh, uh, components library simply because uh, pretty much every design that I create is custom for my clients so I just need the basic structure established so we can move uh, fast uh, um, around uh, the project so yeah that's uh, uh, where kind of like I'm, I'm standing mentally when it comes to evaluating these uh, plugins. Now another one which uh, is going to be a pretty straightforward one is Google Search Console one click uh, to or a couple of clicks uh, and I can basically connect the Google Search Console directly in a Framer. That's nice. Uh, there's also Framer Analytics, which kind of covers uh, a lot of the same, but uh, um, I'm curious to see uh, about this uh, Search Console integration because um, pretty much every website I always connect Search Console. Just uh, helpful to give you some specific insights on uh, your website. Another one which is more about the workflow rather than the end result uh, is going to be Renamer. Now I uh, do utilize uh, a very similar plugin in Figma which uh, uh, is going to essentially enable you to rename layers quickly. So I definitely want something like that in Framer as well. So definitely a quick plugin to check out. A lot of files, this one is going to depend uh, on the website, of course, but uh, knowing that I can actually access Lottie files, which are predefined, uh, and I can simply like drag and drop them, which from what I'm uh, understanding, that's going to be the case. Uh, it's just uh, a really big bonus uh, in my agenda. So definitely another plugin that uh, you want to keep uh, an eye on. And then another one, which is going to come with uh, no 
special introduction is going to be Unsplash. So the ability of uh, finding uh, Unsplash photos and then uploading them directly in, in your Framer website, uh, just really cool. It's going to feel like, uh, like Figma. So definitely one of those plugins that I'm going to keep in my stack on demand. And by the way, all of these plugins, uh, the way that you install them is extremely simple. You see that uh, over here in the page, there is this open, open plugin in uh, Call to Action. I simply click uh, and then I can select the website that I want to connect this plugin to. So it's not like in Figma where you're actually having uh, plugins uh, across your design projects. Uh, it's uh, focused on the specific website since it's going to need to upload uh, that plugin on that website. So that's that. We have a lot more to cover, so let's keep going. Tidy up. Uh, this one looks really interesting. Uh, plus, I really love this this UI. It seems that very clean and uh, for the purpose, uh, it looks uh, really spot on. So as it mentions here, arranges pages, arrange pages, breakpoints, uh, and frames uh, with one click. Uh, choose from horizontal, vertical, and grid layouts, and customize frame spacing. So yeah, this one looks uh, looks pretty interesting and uh, this is going to definitely be helpful in creating those uh, sections which we discussed previously so kudos for the idea and i'm definitely going to check this out another one which uh, you are probably not going to use all the time but it's going to come in handy it's going to be uh, the google sheets uh, plugin so you can actually sync uh, uh, cms items so for example if you have any sorts of uh, CMS uh, um, in a style sheet, uh, you can actually connect it with Framer so that it's always going to update and sync uh, with uh, Google Sheets. So you modify the Google Sheets uh, styling and it's going to sync with uh, the Framer CMS. So you just need to move to adjust the Google Sheets uh, to edit the, the content, which is going to be useful, especially with some clients. I know from first hand experience, Probably as designers, we rather work in Framer, of course, but for some clients, uh, uh, Google Sheets is, is definitely a very useful tool. Uh, they have automations and all sorts of things connected. So definitely a plugin that you want to keep in mind if uh, in certain scenarios. Spell checker. I use uh, ChatGPT for the very most part uh, uh, these days for uh, checking the the copy of a website, optimizing it. Uh, this looks uh, like a nice integration though, because it gives you uh, these snippets, uh, ideas, uh, and uh, you can actually press, uh, you know, check uh, or or not, uh, <laughs> if you just want to keep it like that. So pretty nice. Uh, you can also correct uh, in the bulk. Uh, so nice, uh, nice addition to the stack. Uh, again, it's one of those plugins that probably you're not going to uh, spend a whole lot of time uh, on, but it's going to be useful sometimes. Semflow, I used to love uh, their uh, plugin in uh, Webflow, so I'm definitely going to check out uh, the Framer one because SEO is uh, super important, uh, as you know, and uh, having an extra layer of checklist uh, to optimize uh, your Framer site uh, is definitely something that uh, is going to be really helpful and appreciated. So definitely going to check them out. Uh, as well as Iconstack, uh, they have a massive library. So Iconstack, if you're not familiar with them, uh, they have over 40,000 icons uh, in their library, uh, really high quality and uh, just love the, the library of real. So uh, it's great to see them coming with uh, a plugin which uh, facilitates the addition of their icons in the Framer. And then another one which uh, is going to be really interesting is style guide generator. So it's going to automatically create a style guide for your website or template. So this one is going to be pretty straightforward. Uh, you can create uh, some color and text styles in your project, open the plugin and choose styles, uh, insert your style guides component. So you have everything uh, uh, nice and clean. Uh, loving the idea. It's uh, one of those simple plugins that can really help you streamline your workflow. So it's uh, definitely one that you want to check out. 
Then last but absolutely not least, uh, the Framer to Figma uh, plugin, uh, or actually F Framer Figma Sync plugin, <laughs> which essentially sync color and textile from Figma to Framer. I uh, also want to remind you that I shot uh, an entire video on the Figma to Framer plugin. So if you want to copy and paste the components, uh, you're going to uh, find an entire video dedicated on my channel. And this is pretty much it for this roundup. We're going to go into some of these plugins in more detail in dedicated videos, but uh, overall, I'm really excited about uh, the current uh, stage of the space. And I uh, hope this video was helpful and I'll see you in the very next one.